All right, welcome back to our Stewie creation for Anime Studio Pro 8. And we're, today we're going to create Stewie's arms. So what we need to do is we need to create a new vector layer. And his arms need to have elbows, so we're going to create three layers for the arms. An upper arm, a lower arm, and the hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to name this one Arm Upper. Okay, and we're going to select that layer. Okay, now let's turn everything else off except for our background here. Okay, so Stewie's arms are pretty short. So we're going to have to make his upper arm pretty short. So we're going to start by adding some points here to where his elbow might be. Trans these around a little bit. Okay. And you can tweak all this and make it however you want to look later. I'm just kind of doing this kind of rough. Here. Alright, so that's basically Stewie's upper arm. And his shirt was white, so what we need to do is we need to go back to the shirt layer. Click on that, and then we're going to hit U and create the shape. Okay, that's his upper arm. Now we need to create the lower arm, so we're going to create a new vector for arm lower. We're going to add some points here to create the lower arm. And we want him to overlap so that when he bends his elbow, it actually looks kind of normal. And we're going to take some of the curve out of these a little bit. Alright, and just kind of adjust that a little bit there. Okay, and then we're going to create that. And, uh, okay, now see, here's the thing. You got this line here. Now you could hide the line depending on what version of Anime Studio you're using. But the nice thing about having Anime Studio 8 is they have this nifty little th new thing called a patch. And we're going to patch this for the upper arm. Okay, okay. And we're going to move this over and put that right there. And we're going to scale it down. Move it over a little bit. And you'll see how that'll work later when the arm actually bends and moves so that it it makes it look a little more normal, basically. Okay, so that's his arm. Now we need the other arm back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the upper, let's start with the upper arm, and we're going to duplicate to back upper arm. And we're going to move it back here. And then we need the lower, so we're going to duplicate that one, and we're going to name it back, lower, arm, and then we're going to move it down here with the other back arm, and then we're going to duplicate the patch. We're going to go into patch, and we're going to do it to the back upper arm and hit OK. Alright, now we need to move those over to where the other arm is. So let's grab the back upper arm and we're going to move it over to here. And then we're going to rotate it a little bit. Move it into position. Right about there should be good. Now the lower arm, and we're going to move it over here, and we're going to rotate it, and yes, you can hear the cat going nuts for some reason, not exactly sure why. Move that into position there, and then now we need to move this patch so that it'll patch that arm like such. Okay. And why I moved this one down here is because when you turn the body back on, as you can see, both arms are behind the body. 
So now we need to move the front arm above the body. There we go, just like such. Turn the head back on. As you can see, it's kind of over the head there. So let's just move it below the head. <coughs> and there you go. Now Stewie has arms. And the hands, we'll do that in another video because the hands are a little more complex and difficult. But we'll go ahead and there. let's turn that off. We'll turn everything on that we've made. Render them out real quick. And there is Stewie so far. So we'll see you in the next video.